I have recently been working with NFC tags and exploring various use case scenarios. The first one came as a personal need for me. Uh, since I have a longer name, it's really hard for me to share my contact sometimes because I have to narrate my name and then tell the phone number. So it's really annoying for me and for the other person as well, sometimes. Obviously, NFC came as the most ideal solution. All you need to do is just tap and go. So I started looking for ways to make my own smart card because I really do not want to pay crazy amount of fees like $100 or $150 for just for a NFC card because I know that NFC cards cost usually cost less than 10 cents in the manufacturing sector. So it makes no sense to shell out so much money just on a silly card. So I have tried various ways and I am really not so much fond of other ways which uses Dropbox or Google Drive or uh, sites like Mega where you upload the VCF file and then try to retrieve it. What it does is that it opens that VCF file in a web browser and you cannot add it directly to the, to the contacts. You can see the contact but you cannot save it to the contacts directly. So it defeats the entire purpose of convenience. But I think I have found the most convenient free way which is by using vcard.link. It's a free website. All you need to do is put in your details there and they'll give you a link and you just need to flash the, flash the link on your NFC card and that's it. There's nothing more to it. So there are a couple of downsides to this free way uh, which we'll discuss at the end of this video. For now let's see how it all works. So it basically involves three steps. All you need to do is grab a couple of NFC cards uh, like these. I have these little patches which you can stick anywhere. Then you need to go ahead to the App Store and download NFC tools. Uh, this would enable us to read and write the data from the NFC card. Again, this is also a free tool. So step three. So now we need to go to readcard.link and fill in the details there. And we'll fill in only the ones that we need. We can skip the other things. So now that we have filled in everything, we need to go to share option and grab the link of VCF file. Now we'll now that we have copied the link, we'll go back to our NFC tools and we'll add a field URL and paste the VCF link there and flash it to our card. Now it's done. So all we need to do is test the card again and see if that works or not. So here it is. Now it's working exactly as we expected it to. As we have seen that it works, but there are two significant outsides to this method. Number one is that it doesn't work without a active internet connection so if you do not have an uh, internet connection it's it's just useless because you cannot reach the link and everything will fail number two is that it's probably not safe to put your number there so let's let's just say since vcard.link is a free service and we all know that servers and internet connection and everything else that is required to maintain a website needs money. So I guess how they are making money is by selling our data to the third parties. Again, they do not say anything on the website, but this is my assumption based on the recent things that I have seen. So ever since I have put my data on this website for first three days, I got at least two or three spam calls a day on my SIM and I am still being spammed on telegram groups and few other so few other messaging apps so they are just sending in and adding me to the crypto groups and buy this and buy that groups although it works but there is a little bit of compromise are you willing to take the spam calls or being are you okay with being added to random groups here and there so I'm still looking for much safer and better ways to get around this problem but I haven't found yet. Hopefully I'll be able to manage something in a couple of days. So stick around and 
I'll let you know as soon as I'll get one.